Today we'll be talking about how to flip a property with the smallest possible investment. Before we get started, thank you for tuning in. If you're interested to become rich overnight, this is not the right channel. I'm happy to help you and grow your business in real estate and help you and teach you with all the flips that I have done and all the mistakes I have made so you don't have to make the same mistake. If you're interested, please subscribe and stay tuned all the way to the end. Let's dive in. Here are the five things you should know if you're going to flip a property with the smallest possible investment. Number five, pick a small project. I know this sounds easy, but you can't believe how many people will not do that on their first project. If you're picking a small condo or single family house, it will be easy on you. I'll give you an example. If the kitchen cabinets can be just be painted and easily be done, and you don't have to change the entire kitchen, that can be a good project. But if you have to change the entire kitchen and you've never done that before, you cannot imagine the process and the stress that you will put you on. If you're buying a single family house, there are like five items, such as foundation, roof, plumbing, electrical, sewer line or the central AC and heating system. If those are old and they need to be repaired, that can be costly. And if you've never done it, it can be double for you. Number four, location. 72% of the properties in a better location, they sell faster than any other location. So pay attention to that. Buy a property in a better location if it's your first one, so you can get the project done, sell it fast, take your money out and focus on the next project. Number three, don't focus on the profit. First project should be a learning lesson for you. It will help you learn about the vendors you're gonna hire, help you understand about the real estate process. Your real estate agent should be professional, your vendor should be professional. They need to understand your timing. So don't focus on making a quick buck, focus on the learning process. Number two, carrying costs. Make sure you calculate that. Put it in a budget. I have another video that I made for carrying costs. If you don't know anything about it, the link below in the description will allow you to watch that video. Make sure you pay attention and calculate the carrying costs because that can eat up your entire profit. And number one, I think is one of the most important items. It's about how much you bought the property for. Never about how much you're gonna sell it for. Don't be emotional when you buy a property. Warren Buffett always says, when you become emotional in business, you lose profit. Of course, you will have a profit but it's never about how much you sell it for. To recap, get a small project, make sure you pick at the right location, don't focus on how much money you're gonna make, make sure you understand carrying costs, as I told you, watch the video, and lastly, focus on how much you're buying the property, not how much you're going to sell. So today's question, are you interested to live in a condo for a million dollar in the city, or would you rather live in a big house for a million dollar in a suburb? I would love to know about that, so make sure you leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video. I wanna know what other topics you would like me to make video on. Feel free to leave those in a comment and don't forget to subscribe.